be a crab. Oh no, that's a bird. Oh look, I see my muscles. I can't see anything. It just looks like someone spilled paint. We all see things in different ways. No two people see things exactly the same. Each person will interpret identical events differently. This is because their past experiences are different and they have different cultural or generational backgrounds. So, how can we make our students understand that our world is made up of different people with different experiences and beliefs which influence our understanding? And how can we do this through the arts? Hi, we are Sally Potter, Monica collins Eja, Barb Cumming, Christine Popke, and Susan Winter. And in order to challenge our pedagogical content knowledge, we have chosen to develop an inquiry unit based around the idea of perspective for Year 3-4 students. Our unit, through their eyes, integrates the arts with literacy, history, civics and citizenship, interpersonal relationships, ICT, and thinking processes. The unit also incorporates the cross-curricular areas of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures, and Asia and Australia's engagement with Asia. This unit focuses on developing an understanding that our world is made up of different people who have different experiences and beliefs, and we should learn to value the opinions and points of view of others. Students explore the different ways stories can be told through the written word, visual arts, media, dance, music, and drama, and the way our different experiences and beliefs influence our understanding of the story. Students will explore their own personal stories and further develop their understanding of perspective through stories of the first contact between Indigenous and European peoples at settlement and through other cultures. So why do we want to develop an understanding of perspective in our students? A person's perspective is their point of view, the position from which they see and understand events going on around them. Being able to see the world from another person's perspective or through their eyes ensures that students can consider and critically examine different viewpoints, develop empathy and make meaning. Perspective appears in the curriculum throughout literacy, history and the arts. The History Domain develops students' perspective skills by examining different points of view about particular events and how these can be interpreted based upon someone's age, gender, social position, beliefs and values. The Literacy Domain further examines perspective throughout the language, literature and literacy substrands and asks readers to critically examine different points of view from a range of multimodal resources. This understanding of perspective allows students to understand connections, contradictions and counterpoints raised in texts. Developing an understanding of perspective is also used extensively across the art strands. For example, in drama, students are asked to consider different viewpoints across societies and cultures and how this can be interpreted to make meaning. Beyond the domains of arts, literacy and history, perspectives can play a role in developing interpersonal understanding as students begin to explore the link between their feelings and their behaviour. They learn about empathy and use this to begin to respond to the needs of others. Through Their Eyes is based upon the Syntegration model of integration as the broad theme of perspective is explored across multiple curriculum domains. An inquiry-based pedagogy, including activities where students learn by doing, has been chosen to develop the theme of perspective as it emphasises the abilities of students to creatively view, problem solve, question and explore various perspectives and concepts they will face in their lives. This approach, based on Bruner's constructivist discovery learning model, allows students to draw on their previous knowledge and experiences to solve the set, open-ended criteria. In designing the unit, a planning model based around a core issue was the central starting point guiding the inquiry. This model, drawn from Gilbert, employs the concept of backward design. By drawing from the big idea, students will be able to relate and connect to personal experiences in other areas of the curriculum. Our unit's big idea is our world is made up of different people with different experiences and beliefs which influence our understanding. Further developing on this big idea, three key understandings were generated. KU1, developing an understanding that different perspectives exist in history, art, literature, and intrapersonal skills. KU2, 
the arts shape as well as reflect a culture. In KU3, stories can be told from alternative perspectives using a variety of mediums. These key understandings led to the development of essential or inquiry questions that students will work on during the unit. These questions are, what are perspectives and why are they important? How can we use the arts to investigate different perspectives? What can the arts tell us about history, a culture or a society? What influence does perspective have on the way authors and artists tell their story? What was the nature and consequence of contact between Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander peoples and early traders, explorers and settlers? How can we learn more about Indigenous Australians by looking at particular events through their viewpoints? The arts features heavily in the key understanding and the unit as a whole. This is because historically, arts have been an important element in passing on cultures, stories and our traditions. In an age where critical and creative thinking skills are becoming a necessity in an ever-evolving world, it has never been more important to ensure the arts are integrated authentically into the curriculum. The arts give tangible and meaningful expression to our collective understanding of our society and our world, and allow for a better development of self-expression, communication, shared meanings, imagination, and mutual respect and empathy for one another and our respective histories. The arts serve a number of purposes. Firstly, from a student's point of view, a comprehensive arts education enables the development of a number of key skills that encourage, among other things, greater thinking, analytical skills, individual expression and cultural identity. These developments are critical as they may have positive effects on the way students approach school and learning. There is a great deal of research that shows us that incorporating the arts also allows for the opportunity to impact students' cognitive skills across a number of subjects. Also, from an educator's point of view, the arts allows for innovative classroom practices. To this end, incorporating an education that encompasses the creative arts strands of dance, drama, music, visual arts and media enables the opportunity for a more well-rounded education. The unit through their eyes will be based around imaginative learning experiences that are relevant to real life and use the arts as a way for children to research, explore and make connections between the domains and around the concept of perspectives. Using an open-ended learning pedagogy, the learning activities will provide established criteria but allow for self-expression, creativity, interpretation and reflection. Authentic arts integration can be demonstrated in many ways. We should focus on expanding skills and knowledge in both the arts and other discipline areas. Consequently, the unit allows for the children to actively apply and explore understandings through practical art making that not only gives them opportunities to develop their abilities in the processes and knowledge in the arts, but also allows them to explore creatively their own thoughts and meanings. While authentic art experiences are integrated into the unit, it is important that this does not devalue art, but rather acknowledge its importance as a medium through which we learn, interpret, and communicate about life and the world. All too often, the arts are used to support the learning of other subjects, where art is used for the sake of art and not for its value as a powerful way to deepen understandings. Subsequently, in planning the unit of inquiry, we've utilized a six-point star approach to ensure that we've included all of the key elements of an authentic arts program. There are many considerations that teachers face when including arts in their classroom program. A big issue within the teaching of the arts at primary level is the confidence of teachers in their own ability. This in turn can affect the way their students view and make art. Additionally, the 2010 ACER report on the arts and Australian education realising potential described the level of funding for resourcing arts education and teacher professional development as almost non-existent. While the new Australian curriculum now mandates arts education in primary school, there is still concern that generalist primary teachers not only lack the necessary resources, but are inadequately prepared or confident to implement an effective arts program. Depending on the lesson planned or the arts domain being explored, the arts may need to rely on a variety of resources or stimuli to encourage improvisation and exploration. There are, however, many examples of ways that creative teachers lacking resources, can still implement an arts education for their students. Nonetheless, some activities, for example, within the discipline of visual arts, may require significant resources, materials and tools 
and therefore may involve a lot of preparation and adequate setting up and packing up time to ensure that children are not rushed in their creative process. Furthermore, it is important to ensure that any resources provided are appropriate for age and developmental level. Media in particular has its own difficulties due to the demands on the school budget relating to technology updates and the need for teachers to remain professionally up to date. Whether in the classroom, specialist room or in a larger space such as a school hall, Children need an environment where they feel safe to explore, be noisy, and one that is free of any obstacles. With the more physical creative arts, such as drama and dance, teachers need to be aware of safety issues relating to space. In addition, self-expression comes from not having a fear about being right or wrong. Subsequently, a teacher needs to ensure that children know that they can explore their emotions, feelings, and so forth, without their peers judging them harshly. This is particularly so during dance, where there is the misconception that dance is something the boys shouldn't do. Teachers can address this by moving the focus away from the perception that dance equals ballet, using popular culture examples that paint a cool picture of dance or show its athletic nature. Within our diverse classroom, we may have students with learning or physical disabilities or who may speak a language other than English. These complex issues can result in students presenting with an inability to follow complex storylines, understanding abstract concepts such as emotions, make reasonable predictions, use judgement or read age-appropriate texts. In developing an arts lesson for a diverse classroom such as this, a teacher needs to take into account any individual learning plans or sensory impairments that may impact upon the lesson outcomes and also to prevent further alienating and aggravating children with special needs. Activities across the arts curriculum can be adapted depending on the needs of the students. For example, in dance, children who have physical disabilities can draw upon other movements using different body parts. Furthermore, special software is available to assist those with hearing or visual impairments during media arts activities. The arts have long been associated with therapy, cognitive development and mental well-being. The inclusion of the arts provides a critical learning opportunity for the development and improvement of specific language and social skills in an integrated curriculum. Role play in drama allows children with special needs such as autism to create shared meaning at an appropriate cognitive level. Furthermore, the arts can aid children on the spectrum in understanding collaboration, consequences of social behavior, turn-taking, and con cultural conventions. For many children with learning or physical difficulties, self-expression and the opportunity to socially interact with their peers is limited. Thus, the arts provides the chance to improve interpersonal communication and listening skills through the provision of peer relationships. Taking all this into account, an overview of the learning experiences across the unit is shown on screen. This sequence advances students' understanding from the basic concept of what are perspectives and why are they important through to the end of the unit where students will be able to demonstrate the value of different points of views in the stories they read, hear and watch. Within literacy, the students will explore perspectives through stories and the use of voice in their writing. Furthermore, they discover how we are influenced through the use of camera angles and layouts used in picture books and advertising. Within history, students begin to explore the history of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and examine European exploration and colonisation in Australia and throughout the world up to the early 1800s. To develop critical thinking skills, students examine the different perspectives that occur in first contact through the arts. Students begin exploring what are perspectives and why are they important by examining the book Voices in the Park by Anthony Brown. This book uses four different voices to examine the same scene and is useful in helping students gain an understanding of how authors use different voices to create meaning. Yep. In groups of four, the students initially each read only one of the voices in the book and they draw a comic strip that represents the section of the story they have read. Students then compare their comic strips with their groups and discuss the differences in how the story was told. In these discussions, they can also begin to explore the characters within the book and discuss how the author has used different fonts 
to represent the different voices. The interplay of written and visual elements make using comic strips in the classroom an innovative educational medium, capable of engaging students in a way that acknowledges the visual world in which they live. Comic strips are a visual and media arts related way for students to express themselves. This activity provides the opportunity for students to learn through and about media by generating the comic whilst developing perceptual abilities. This activity develops the elements of story principles, including structure, intent, characters, settings, and points of view. It also develops understand, understandings about concepts and generalizations by making connections to the theme perspectives. The comic strip activity increases student skills in nonverbal communication, critical thinking, and comprehension by locating main ideas, summarizing, and organizing key plot points. The students will be assessed using a range of indicators that take into account whether students are consolidating their understanding about using voice and literacy, their ability to apply the media and visual arts elements, and the correct use of story structure. Using media for artistic expression allows for a unique take on the overarching theme, perspectives. With its different forms, students can use media to tell a story and explore concepts, which is an important part of the learning in this unit. Furthermore, media arts enable students to develop reasons for decision making about their choice and use of media technologies, become media arts creators and develop their skills in being critically literate. The media arts supports learning across the curriculum in areas such as literacy, ICT and critical and creative thinking. Following their study of the book, the class will use a reader's theatre performance to develop their understanding of the voices in the story and how each has its own perspective on the same scene. In groups of four, the students will create their own script and perform it to the class. The students will also have the opportunity to respond to each other's performances. Reader's Theatre is an excellent drama tool that allows for the development of arts knowledge and expression. Children with bodily kinesthetic and intrapersonal intelligences and those who are hesitant readers find that performing can help them develop their understanding and their confidence. Being dialogue based and with a number of distinct characters, the book provides an excellent medium for this activity. Whilst learning in drama, students develop the elements of tension, focus, mood, space and contrast. These elements are developed by using gestures, vocal and facial expressions, posture, body language and actions. There was a very friendly dog in the park and Victoria was having a great time. I wish I was. When we arrived at the park, I let Victoria off her lips. Immediately, some scruffy mongrel appeared and started bothering her. I shoot it off, but the horrible thing chased her all over the park. Students will be observed in their role as generators, realisers and responders to the reader's theatre to ensure that they are engaged in the process. Through the script generation process, the teacher will consult with the students to ensure that they are creating a script that accurately represents the book. Finally, the teacher will use a checklist to ensure that students are meeting outcomes related to using the required elements. In order to develop critical understandings in relation to content knowledge and the overarching theme of perspective, it is important that students develop their communication skills and have active experiences of walking in others' shoes. Drama provides the opportunity to incorporate the functions of communication while developing perspective skills through active learning and participation. Through this exploration, inquiry and experience that drama provides, students develop a sense of empathy and tolerance of others' beliefs. Participating in drama will also provide students with the opportunity to develop teamwork and cooperative skills, literacy skills, self-expression, self-confidence, self-esteem, and gives students a chance to voice an opinion in a safe and nurturing environment. Furthermore, in using drama to create meaning, students can explore how characters would act in a variety of situations. As the unit progresses, students begin to explore the links between feelings and behaviour and begin to understand how their own personal perspectives can influence their experiences. The activity Responding to Music with Paint promotes learning in the arts and explores the similarities between the elements of visual arts and music such as rhythm, line and colour and how they are used to convey a feeling or emotion. Students will listen to Beautiful Day by U2 and use paint to create marks, lines and dots that represent the mood and feeling of the song. As students complete the activity, they are asked to be conscious of the colours and shapes they choose when hearing certain sounds. When we combine imagery and sensory experiences, each child's painting becomes a natural way for them to extend their creativity. 
It will see them responding to the music differently as they realise their interpretations through different brush strokes. Painting to music is a good way to introduce the concept of difference. Even though children will be listening to the same song, they tend to see different shapes and colours. This reinforces the idea that there is no right or wrong way to express their feelings. Drawing and painting, mark making, are one of the first ways we as humans are able to communicate to the rest of the world. For young children, it's usually their first attempts at art making and is emotionally satisfying for them. Visual arts can be a direct expression of what we see through our own eyes, whether through drawing from observation or using photography. As the unit progresses, students learn about empathy and use this to begin to explore the needs of others, thus developing awareness of social competencies in relation to perspectives. In literacy, students are introduced to the poem The Learner by Julie Holder. To engage with the feelings of the characters, they begin with a visual arts warm-up called Sculpture Model Clay. Students taking on these roles in groups of three will create a shape with their bodies representing the feelings of a character within the poem. This exploration of body shape will include elements of responding and generating through the skills of describing, improvising and interpreting in a collaborative group activity. Students will then draw the shapes they made with their bodies as clay and use these words to describe how they felt, sharing this with the class to develop synonyms as well as a greater sense of empathy for and understanding of the characters within the poem. The children will break into small groups, each responsible for one of the sounds described in the poem and reinterpret that sound in a musical way. Students will be encouraged to draw upon existing items in the classroom. The brick wall, for example, might be the classroom desk. in this activity. For example, hands smacking on the brick will refer to the rhythm and beat or duration of music, as will the background sounds of strong beats, as referred to in the poem. Furthermore, the low talking, quiet hush, shouting, laughing and songs will relate to the pitch. That is, the harmonies that they all play against one another and the high and low notes of each chord. The piece as a whole will be recorded and listened to so the students can get an idea of the structure of the piece as a collective sound. Assessing music can be achieved by using outcomes and indicators that ask questions to help the observation process. Children will also be given indicators so that they can both self-assess and assess their peers during this music project. Students are taught a movement phase demonstrated by the teacher with minimal variation in movement dynamic. Students then practice this taking on the character of the loner and then repeat this time as the other children in the poem. Students observe and discuss what character the others were and what clues led them to think this. Students will be learning in dance through increased body awareness and an understanding that their bodies can express their ideas and feelings. Students demonstrate spatial awareness using the space creatively and confidently and incorporate differing dynamic variations through expressive movements. Through a demonstrated awareness of different emotions through a range of expressions and movement, students will be learning and developing empathy through dance. This will conclude with students completing a colour, symbol, word routine. This will enable students to express their understandings in a way which doesn't depend entirely upon written or oral language. Rather, students can draw upon their expressive skills and creativity to create metaphors to represent their ideas. Dance is an effective medium for non-verbal communication, self-expression and creativity. It encompasses physical, social, interpersonal, problem-solving, communication, creative and aesthetic skills. Dance through the human shape uses the body as a sensory medium for learning, understanding and making meaning. By involving improvisation of the body, this will lead to the development of dance skills and understandings. And on this occasion, Students are focusing on the key learning area of generating dance. Within this creative activity, the elements of action, time, dynamics and space are included. Students will be exploring the different ways their bodies are moving. Dance is a powerful avenue for children to learn about perspectives as it allows them to create and communicate meaning about themselves and the world around them. Regardless of their technical skills all students can develop expressive skills. 
As such, it is envisaged that dance provides an ideal environment for all students to evaluate and express their own perspectives on a topic and that of others. By working in groups to create dance, students will be drawing upon and integrating the interpersonal and body kinesthetic multiple intelligences advocated by Gardner for an inclusive pedagogy. In fact, dance as a multi-sensory art form will provide a vehicle for students to respond to a stimulus visually, audibly and kinesthetically. As the students' understanding develops, they now begin to question the role diversity has in forming different perspectives. Media arts and literacy require students to develop knowledge of and learn to read the conventions of the symbol systems used in the art forms to communicate and exchange ideas about the world. This next arts activity is based on responding to the arts with critically, historically and culturally informed understandings. Students read the My Place picture book and watch the related stories set in 1788 on film, which portray the same set of circumstances from two characters' perspectives. Discussion will include differing perspectives on ownership of animals and the land, not only between the Aboriginals and the settlers, but between the generations. The film in particular explores this in depth and also provides an opportunity for students to explore the different roles music can play through the use of the drum in the film. After discussing the similarities and differences between the book and the film, students will create a DVD cover and book cover artwork that demonstrates the differences between the two mediums. It is important to place emphasis on process as well as product. Media arts is not all about creating movies, but about students' abilities to respond critically to multimodal texts. Using a range of media arts strategies, students will develop their understandings of literary texts in a variety of forms, including print-based picture books and film. Facilitating critical literacy can be done by asking students three fundamental questions. Whose story is being told? Who is being left out? And why is the story being told this way? This will enable students to develop understanding about the purposes of media, for example, the political, entertainment, historical and cultural purposes. We now move the students' learning towards an understanding of cultural influences on perspective. Dance is an excellent medium to learn about the customs and traditions, music and costumes of different cultures. Through observing a range of dance performances, such as a haka performance, Chinese New Year dance and Australian folk dance, students will develop a deeper understanding than by reading about them. The focus will be on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander dance through a live performance. This will lead into the aspect of responding to dance, where students will discuss the stories being told and describe, analyse and interpret what they have seen. Building on an earlier lesson in the unit, students will pay particular attention to the elements of movement and other non-movement production aspects, such as costumes and painting or makeup on the dancers' skins and how they are used to also tell a story. The Indigenous dance performance will be an opportunity for students to learn about the importance dance plays in Aboriginal culture, thereby developing an understanding of how the arts can shape and also reflect a culture. Students will see how and how that reflected their connection to the land both physically and spiritually. Students learning in dance will continue to focus on movement, with students describing the movements they have seen and the dynamics used. Students will then create a mind map of the body parts and shapes that were used frequently in the dances and compare with each other. Any observed actions and descriptions of the use of weight, force and energy will also be included and its purpose discussed. Elsewhere in the curriculum, students have been studying the history of first contact between Indigenous Australians and the first fleet of European settlers. We can explore history through the use of traditional folk songs such as Bound for Botany Bay. After listening to the songs, we will introduce the history and lyrics of the songs and how the first fleet and convicts might have been feeling. We will ask the students to take note of the lyrics, tempo and rhythm within the songs. As we continue our learning journey through, in and about the arts, we further our exploration of the first contact in terms of perspective. What were the Indigenous people thinking when they saw the first fleet? Did the convicts and redcoats have any preconceived ideas about natives based on their own experiences? The study of this begins with watching a film clip originally shown on SBS called The First Australians. The film discusses the indigenous perspective of first contact in terms of seeing the settlers as devils, possums and spirits. To ensure that the students are introduced to a range of perspectives using different mediums, the picture book The Unlikely Story of Ben Along and Philip will be used as a literacy focus. This book is set amongst the arrival of the first fleet to Australia and two very different worlds meet and explores the friendship between Benelong, a local Aboriginal man, and Captain Arthur Phillip, who led the First Fleet. 
Through literacy, students will explore further the use of voices and perspectives in writing. After exploring the story of Ben Long and Philip in literacy, the students will compare two different artworks that tell the same story of first contact but in different ways. Modern Art by Bern Emmerichs, featured in the storybook, and a lithograph first published in 1872, created by an unknown artist, will be examined to discuss how stories can be told using the same medium but with different results. The 1870s art piece is drawn from the earlier film clip. Questions can be asked of the students that draw on their growing understanding of perspective. Guided questioning is helpful in eliciting responses and in making connections and understanding. Students will be assessed on their learning about the arts through art appreciation. They're developing historical knowledge and understanding of art elements and principles and how they are used to convey meaning. Meaning making and connection making is key with a constructivist viewpoint. After appreciating the artwork, students will begin to explore individual perspectives at first contact. Using the art piece as stimuli, individuals undertake an artful thinking routine known as a step inside to step into the position of a character or object within the painting and demonstrate that they are able to write from that perspective and thus develop deeper understanding. This routine encourages the development of empathy and asks the students to hypothesise about what the person or object sees, understands, wonders or cares about. In this activity, rather than looking at art making, students are looking at an individual subject matter story, whether it be a person, other living thing or an object. Using indicators for the assigned task, the students will be assessed to see whether they have merely stated the obvious or if they were capable of complex thinking and moving beyond their own positions, feelings and questions. It is important that these step insides have been well developed to ensure rich learning in the next activity. The step inside routine encourages students to create a rich and full sense of character. Using the new understandings that students have developed of the characters, students will improvise the role that they have chosen using hot seating. Students will be questioned about their background, behaviour and motivation relating to the scene, allowing students to further understand and walk in the shoes of their character. Where do you think you're going? Well, we both said they're off to this place that's empty. No one lives there. So we're off there to make a place for a new town, new people, get rid of these convicts in England, we think. Said it's gonna be hot. Hot seating further develops students' skills in a range of drama and history curriculum areas. In particular, it allows those in the audience to develop the historical skill of posing questions about the past and being able to identify different perspectives. The teacher will assess the effectiveness of the student's hot seat character through observation, consultation after the activity and using indicators to assess whether students were able to take on another perspective and demonstrate their historical understanding. At the end of the unit, students have looked through the eyes of different cultures and events through history, literacy and the arts. At this stage, students need to demonstrate their understanding of the value of diverse points of views and that they've achieved the key understandings. To assess the student's understanding, a visible thinking routine, I used to think, now I know, will be used. This routine helps students reflect on their thinking about a topic and gives them an opportunity to identify how their learning has changed over time. This routine gives a chance for students to confront their own misconceptions and to see value in what they've learned. Furthermore, using a visible thinking routine allows students to demonstrate their conceptual understanding rather than a list of series of learned facts. Finally, in groups, students will complete their final design brief, which asks them to demonstrate their learning in one of the areas of interpersonal, cultural or historical understanding. Students can choose to demonstrate this learning by drawing a cartoon, creating an art piece, designing a media presentation, acting it out in a play or dance, or through some other form of the arts. It is envisaged that students will be able to draw on the activities earlier in the unit, such as the step inside routine, where they could choose to create a piece of music that tells the story of the character's perspectives, with others in their group choosing to accompany this with a dance. A two-minute oral presentation will accompany their work. Mm -hmm.